You a new museum You a melody From a symphony by Strauss You a bandle bonnet Shakespeare sonnet You a Mickey Mouse Act one of this series was about the joyfulness that can arise if we will free ourselves of the reporting system prescribed by the essay as the default reporting mechanism of the Academy. Act two provides the details of that joyfulness. You just heard Louis Armstrong singing Cole Porter's lyrics from You're the Top, the lyrics continue. You're the top, you're Mahatma Gandhi. You're the top, you're Napoleon Brandy. You're the purple light of a summer night in Spain. You're the national gallery. Your garbo's salary, your cellophane, wonderful. In a recent podcast entitled The Holy Life of the Intellect, George Balring, Canada's first poet laureate, told his listeners that the human intellect is the closest thing we have to the divine. It is the way we can join one another, he says, in spirit. If we can experience another's mind in our own, he says, we know that love is possible. In the following slides, I want to show you the work of our students at NJIT when they're freed from the constraints offered by the essay, that default reporting structure of the academy. My aim here is to allow you to see, briefly, another mind in your own, to gain an idea of potentiality. Let me tell you something about my university home, the New Jersey Institute of Technology. For the second consecutive year, U.S. News & World Report's 2008 Annual Guide to America's Best Colleges has named NGIT among the nation's top tier of national research universities. We offer a range of undergraduate majors, masters, and doctoral degrees. U.S. News & World Report also named NGIT as the nation's ninth most diverse institution of higher education. Our undergraduate enrollment is 5,380 at the present. Our graduate enrollment 2,829. We offer 36 types of bachelor degrees, 41 master's degrees, 19 doctoral degrees. And when I first came to NGIT, my colleague Bob Lynch, the Jim Wise Professor of Theater and Dramatic Literature, told me that his students enjoyed talking about the technical aspects of poetry. Poets Nikki Stiller and Bert Kimmelman reported the same about their students. They were correct. And all these years later, I'm still amazed to see my students in engineering and computer science, in architecture and in mathematics, take a keen interest in explicating New Zealand poet Alan Kurnow's The Skeleton of the Great Moa in the Canterbury Museum, Christchurch. The students like to show me how they believe the three quatrains work and how this Elizabethan stonnet stands as proof that the empire can and should write back. My students delight in the technical now, if we remove the technical from a given frame of reference and see it, with, say, Martin Heidegger, as a means and a human activity that leads to revealing, we can envision more fully the role that technology can play in a broadly conceived humanities curriculum. Within the Department of Humanities at NJIT, each first-time full-time student at NJIT, regardless of major, must take 21 hours of required courses in the humanities, six credits of first-year writing, six credits of cultural history, nine credits of junior electives, and a senior seminar, also three credits. Hence, we see a good deal of the NJIT undergraduate population with just under 7,000 students in our classes in any given calendar year. Key to this work is faculty such as Carol Johnson. Carol Johnson runs our English 352 junior level technical writing program. And interesting here is that Carol embraces certainly the traditional, that students learn to communicate clearly in both writing and in presentations. And they learn different types of communication, instructions, procedures, proposal. But then there's more here. They, of course, learn to frame features of basic MS Word, but they also learn Visio. They learn screen capture tools. And in this course, all NGIT students, regardless of major, have the opportunity to learn basic web design and create a professional web identity. As well, our instructors have the opportunity of working with folks such as Chris Funkhauser. Alternate, alternate, concentrate on logic, logic, objectives, 
energy of nidification. This animation spins the lack of boundary achieved through the design. In that part of Chris Sites, we heard the voice of Allen Ginsberg. Ginsberg was Chris's teacher and continues to be an inspiration to Chris Funkhauser. The original text you heard is from the Buddhist Heart Sutra, which Allen Ginsberg quotes in his poem Cleveland, The Flats. Chris told me that the quote, which is in Sanskrit and English, roughly would be translated as gone, gone all the way over, everyone gone to the other side. Hooray. Chris writes that this quote had both poetic and personal meaning to me. Like a writer and artist, I started in one place and left it for something radically different, but the change was always very beneficial. Including it here from my students pays homage to my teachers and sends it a personal message with some mystique, he says, which I think is good. At the graduate level, Nancy Coppola, director of the MS program in professional and technical communication, has structured a interesting curriculum for this master's degree that is based around e-learning with a number of unique faculty dedicated particularly to the program. Nancy always stresses in this particular curriculum the idea of the mission and values that she has here at her mission. Her relationship is to exploit the interdependency that we have between the humanities and emerging communication technologies. Key in the core values is a shared belief of an asynchronous, anytime, anyplace learning community that sustains a unique combination of academic and applied skills. And in the vision, Nancy stresses for her students and faculty the emergent challenges of new media and of aesthetic design, of cross-cultural environments, and of global impact. 